Hi guys, welcome back. We have the perfect pair by B Ba Do B. Arguably a great song. We have this super easy riff going throughout the whole song, and I'll just show you guys the whole song in a minute. So basically, the chord shapes which I just played, the bass note just changes, and we have two notes fixed from a minor chord. And I'll break down the whole thing in a minute. We don't have any capo, it's in the stand ceiling. I'm using my thumb to hit the A string, index to hit the D string, middle finger to hit the G string. Uh, let's get started. Have a look at the tab. I have my pinky on A11, my middle finger on D9, and my ring finger on G8. So we got, it's a G sharp minor chord. I'll simply play A, D, G, A, D, G. So we have boom. Now I'll lift off my ring and I'll put my ring finger, I'll lift up my pinky and I'll put my ring finger on the 10th fret of the A string and the two fingers are still fixed are there. Now this turns to be a augmented chord of G. So we have G Aug. We have 10th fret on the A string, 9th fret on the D string, 8th fret on the G string like we had before. We'll play the pattern A, D, G, A, D, G. After that we'll hit the A string another time. And then have quick switch of my fingers. I'll put a middle finger on the A9, ring finger goes to the D10, index is still on the 8th fret of the G string. I'll play A, D, G, A, D, G. And now a quick change of the shape. Uh, go to index on A8, middle finger on G8, ring finger on D9, like a D major chord shape. I'll play the pattern A, D, G, A, D, G and then A, like it did with the second chord. Now let's quickly name the chord shapes. We had a G sharp minor to a G aug. And after that, we went to this chord shape, which is a F sharp. I think we're having a F sharp sus six, something like that. And then we went to a B, I think 11, sharp 11. Uh, looks like this. So we had G sharp, G, F sharp, that goes to a B. But the B is having F as the root note. So we got Now fun fact about the augmented chord is uh, we can always bring a chord shape major third up and it will sound the same. Which means suppose I'll play the augmented chord over here like it's a C aug. I'll bring it four frets up from that position, which is one, two, three, four. I'll have the same notes. These are the same notes, like this note, this note, and this note. See that? Yeah. So that's basically our whole song we got. that's pretty much the whole song guys it just repeats and all i hope the video helps you out if you have any doubt feel free to drop a comment down below and i'll see you guys back in the next video bye